you have gathered over here in front of the broken chair. Baloch from all walks of life, from different countries of Europe, Sweden, Norway, the United Kingdom and Switzerland to conduct a demonstration in front of the United Nations building for the ongoing military operation conducted in Balochistan by the Pakistani military, the recent massacre of Dera Bukti and Sui, and other military operations carried out in other areas, Khoistani, Mari and uh, Makran areas of Balochistan. We have come here to appeal to the United Nations as we do every session to intervene in the gross human rights violations which are taking place in Balochistan at the hands of the Pakistani intelligence agencies, namely the ISI and the regular army. They can dilute it by saying it's the federal constabulary, but it's the Pakistan army which is bombarding for the F-16s and the helicopter gunship, civilian areas of Balochistan and killing innocent people. <coughs> we want the international community to realize that the vitality and the importance of this time, because we've been coming here for years, and as they are ignoring our appeal, the military operations intensifying in Balochistan. It's not only the military operation that's killing the Baluch people physically. They have used other methods. Now they're using Islamic fundamentalism to counter Baluch nationalism. And it's very visible. You can, in the media, all the Baluch, the world saw it. They assassinated my father on the 10th of June. And then they abducted his body for three, four days, kept him in naval, naval uh, hospitals and then in the military hospital for a day or two. And his funeral ceremony was conducted by a Sunni extremist organization, uh, Ramzan Mengel, who is known for the Shia massacres in Balochistan, who is known for the kill and dump policy abduct, uh, adopted by the Pakistani establishment in Balochistan. So there, the international community has to be take the Baluch cause very seriously, not only because it's a genocide, which is ongoing, but the implications of this Islamic radicalization that is taking place in Balochistan, which will harm the region, Afghanistan, and the international community, unless the international world comes together to take concrete action against Pakistan's human rights violations and massacres in Balochistan.